I actually have to be on my toes with that one. Putting this Trumoto equipped ETM RTR to the test on our track for the very last time. We're up here at the Electroland test track for the very last time. We're about to tear this thing up and build a truly epic motocross track. They're up there right now, tearing out trees so they can get started. But we have an important mission today. We need to test this ETM RTR and show you guys what it really feels like to have a true moto powered bike. I have Trent right here. He's gonna help us get a second opinion and have us do a little comparison between an ETM RTR that's chassis modified versus an ETM RTR that's true moto modified on a stock chassis. So let's see what happens. I have a stock ETM RTR powertrain bike underneath me. We are gonna put it to the test and get regrounded. I have been riding that hopped up bike for a while. Let's get back to zero and figure out what this ETM RTR stock out of the box is all about. Out here on the stock RTR powertrain, some big old knobs. I can already feel how hooked up it is. Wow, the power is so tactical on this bike. Stock, it's like railed out of the corner on these big tires. Super stable, flowy. It just rolls. Epic, smooth, fast, tractable. What a way to get regrounded. Amazing. This bike's got a chassis mod, so it's glued to the ground with the stock powertrain. Epic race bike, straight up. I'm Trent. I usually am responding to emails inside the shop, but they made me ride today. So the beloved RTR, uh, we're gonna rip some laps on it and see how, how it feels. Little seat mount. I know the 6.7 kit, a load of power, but how can you hate a stock RTR? Too much fun. It's hard to hang on to it at eight kilowatts. It's more than your stock light be a little bike. I love these bikes so much. I don't know, that eight kilowatts of power is so good. Spent a lot of time on them. I'm really excited to see how that 6.7 kit pairs. You can't really hate on the eight kilowatts on these stock. All right, we got the True Moto equipped, fully stock ETM RTR. This thing has 13 kilowatts on a stock RTR chassis. Let's go and figure out what that's gonna feel like. I know this thing's absolutely insane from previous testing. So coming off the regular bike, I think it's gonna be exponentially crazier. Oh my God, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is full tilt. Jeez, I can't uh, speak too much, too intense. Wow, listen to that. I can't keep the traction. Ah! Brutal. So I'm, I'm afraid to throw any style into it. The track's not big enough for this bike now. Woo! My hands are tore out. Crazy fast, super snappy response, on point, on and off throttle. She barks, dude. So gnarly off the bottom. And this is with the high speed motor. So keep that in mind. I'm absolutely blown away at the torque and this is the high speed motor. So with like a high torque motor, brutal levels of torque. Unbelievable. Mod battery pack, pumping out the power. Still have basically full battery. This chassis with this kit, unreal, dude. I'm whooped, so let's throw Trent on the bike and we can get his take. He's got a lot more uh, endurance than I do and riding skill. I literally couldn't throw any style into it because I was like holding on for dear life and we can get his take on what this thing's all about. I think it's time to try out this little bit. I'm a little nervous about it. Let's see what it's all about. Oh my goodness. I'm like scared. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, so bad. I actually can't even hold on to this thing. I don't think I'm ever gonna have to replace a front tire with this kit. Cause it'll never be on the ground. I'm coming into dumps so much slower than I usually do.
I don't even know what to think about that. That's really fast. I was thinking the whole time, I don't think I'm ever gonna have to replace front tires with this kit because it just won't be on the ground. I actually have to be on my toes with that one. Definitely an upgrade. <laughs> All right, after all that, I am convinced that is all the power I will ever need on an ETM RTR. Not that we're gonna stop there, but that's all the power that I need. The stock chassis was able to handle that 13 kilowatt fairly well. However, I became extremely tired super fast because it was just ridiculous. So, so snappy, so powerful, awesome. That thing was fully turned up. So obviously if that's too intense, you could just go on the app, turn it down. You could even create multiple profiles. Straight up mind bending power. What do you think, Trent? I mean, comparing it to the other one. Obviously already on the stock form, eight kilowatt watts is a lot of power especially with the smaller bikes but yeah i'm gonna agree 100 it's a lot of power it's neat that you have that and it's neat that you can change it too so i don't know that that 13 kilowatts a lot for me so i'm gonna turn it down just a little bit but other than that sick the power delivery is awesome uh this is the enc controller it's so smooth she barks boys available now only in limited quantities because christmas rush nothing i can do about that so don't miss out get on there grab yours now and get to ripping hey 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That that is how I do my videos. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm.